Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my first night with my new telescope. This thing is an absolute beast. If you guys have seen my work before, I've done everything with this smaller telescope. This thing is awesome. At some point, I'll do a comparison between the two, but I need a few months under my belt with the new monster. I've spent some time uh, making sure the collimation is good, uh, making sure that the mount works and can get aligned. Uh, so I know it works. Now I just need to point it at something interesting. That thing that's interesting today is going to be Saturn. Uh, Saturn is not at its closest point, which means it's not going to be as big as it possibly can be, but it's about it for what can be looked at right now in the night sky because all the planets are on the other side of the Earth right now. They're all kind of daytime objects. Right now, Saturn is about 900 million miles uh, from us. At its closest, it gets to be about 800 million miles. And it's uh, as far as the size of it in the sky, uh, things are measured or objects like this are measured in arc seconds. And uh, right now it is at about 17 and a half arc seconds. At its smallest, it's 14 and a half. And at its largest, it's at about 20. So this is kind of a medium sized Saturn. Uh, but I think with this beast of a telescope, I should be able to get a pretty good shot of it. I haven't looked yet, but I think the seeing is supposed to be good, so the atmosphere should be fairly calm. And crossing my fingers, I'll get some great shots for this first night out uh, with this 9.25-inch uh, telescope. I got the telescope aligned. I'm on the star Fomalhaut right now and I need to get over to Saturn and get some pictures uh, before the sun comes up because you might already be able to see it starting to get light out. I might need to adjust where the telescope is pointed. The alignment's not gonna be perfect. Oh, it's really good though. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And the focus is really good too, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's get this in the middle, let's get some focus, and let's get some pictures. This looks really good. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than the six inch. Um, and it's, uh, and the scene's good enough. I might be able to go to a Barlow. I'm not even sure if a Barlow is very effective with this telescope, but we'll, we might give it a shot. Uh, let's get this in the middle. Wow. This is staggeringly better than the six inch. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. I can already see I need to get an electronic focuser. This is so painful. Trying to focus while the telescope is moving around because you're touching the focuser makes fine focus very difficult. We'll do a capture with 2000 pictures as you guys know, once I get a chance to process these, the pictures will be a lot better. And, oh man, I didn't even adjust the gain. I was, again, I'm kind of excited to be out here and trying out this new telescope. So I'm all over the place. Uh, gain looks pretty good, a little overexposed. I'm gonna knock that down for the next group here. Okay, let's, let's get a little less gain. I think I'm gonna grab that Barlow, the 2X Barlow, and see what it looks like if I can zoom in a little bit more on this. Sometimes Barlow's, if seeing isn't good, a Barlow just makes uh, the picture more blurry. All right, and it's getting really bright out. I gotta get moving. Might be able to get a couple pictures. Okay, got the UVIR cut on there. Got the Barlow, 2X Barlow. It's overexposed, I know. I'm just trying to get it. Okay. Oh, you can see Titan. When it's overexposed, look, Titan's over here. Oh, that's epic. I want to go to uh, HD 1080p. Boy, this thing is amazing how big the, uh, the images are. I'm just trying to dial in the focus a little bit. I'm really missing my electronic focuser. I don't know, what do you guys think? Right about here? Let's, uh, let's get that in the middle of this image and take, uh, take some pictures. Here, I just went into like total overexposure mode uh, to just look for more uh, planets. There's those two I saw earlier. Let me see if there's any off to the right. Most of them stay pretty close to Saturn. 
Yeah, there's nothing over there. And then the first thing we're gonna see off to the left come into frame is Titan. That thing is massive. So just the three today. I'm just gonna take one more swing at uh, perfect focus and get a picture and call it a day. You can see the sun's already coming up. Man, that looks really good. I just don't know if I can focus any better than that. I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. Super excited with the quality of this telescope right now. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's 20 years old. I wasn't sure what the quality of the optics were gonna be, how the mount was gonna work, but everything is awesome. I'm really excited for the new season of planets coming to opposition. I'll get some great shots of Saturn in a couple months when it's at opposition, hopefully catch a Titan transit. Uh, we'll, we'll get some Jupiter, we'll get some Mars. Uh, we'll run this telescope through its paces. I'm really excited for the next few months. So thanks everybody for uh, coming along for this ride on my first night out with my new telescope. We'll see you next time.